Well, good morning, Restore, and welcome to day 19 of our fasting month. I'm Bill Jeffries from Tenery Family Church, and I just want to leave a thought for you before we pray for some of the most terrible suffering nations in our world today. As Christians, we belong to God. And he has given us a way to the world. Mark 16 tells us that. And so we go into the world with a heart for God. In other words, we need to be otherly minded. I trust you are otherly minded as you think of others before oneself. And as we come to pray for Afghanistan, a nation that has 2.6 million refugees, and by Christmas, half a million will be looking at the borders of that country to escape, we have been told. We need to pray for Afghanistan. Within Afghanistan, there are Christians. And the Bible teaches us in 2 Corinthians that we, in our tribulation, receive comfort from God in order that we can give comfort and peace to those around us. So we need to lift up those Christians in Afghanistan and ask God's protection on them. Shall we do that? Lord, we lift up the people of Afghanistan to you right now. We pray that you would hold them and help them walk through this fearful time. Remind them who they are in you. And we pray, Lord, that your peace in your followers there would shine in such a way that the Holy Spirit would stir up the hearts of those around them as they witness your peace in their lives. And we do pray for the Taliban because, Lord Jesus, you call us to pray for your enemies in Matthew 5, 44. And as we lift them up, we pray, Lord, soften their hearts. We pray that revival will come to that land in Jesus' name. And as we turn our thoughts to Haiti, we see a country that's been devastated by floods, mudslides, and earthquakes. Homes, churches, and schools are among the buildings that have been destroyed there through the month of August. Over 2,200 have died. And so, Lord, we lift up that nation that is in mourning at this time. We pray that you would also strengthen the Christians there as they witness and help those around them on their island. We pray for safety and shelter for those that have been affected by that tropical storm. May grace fill that nation. May Haiti find comfort in the Lord at this crucial time and may aid quickly get to those in need. And finally, Lord, we pray for our nation, for the United Kingdom. We pray for the leaders of our nation, those new leaders that have been put into place through the recent cabinet shuffle. We pray for them. We pray that you'd give them clarity to approach each decision with wisdom and care. And we pray for our Prime Minister as he makes decisions that affect the nation. Each leader is placed there for a reason. Give our leaders humility and knowledge to negotiate and deliberate. Help them ultimately to look for you for guidance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, thanks for praying with me today. God bless you.